Hi, it's Rabbi Mark Fishman here, and in this video, I'd like to explore the upcoming holiday of Yom Kippur. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, holiday? The last time I checked, spending most of my time in synagogue, not eating and not drinking, is not my idea of a holiday. Give me a beach in Tahiti, give me clear blue oceans, and give me a pina colada, and you're getting closer. Okay, okay, I, I can accept that our definitions for holiday might be a little different, but this idea actually gets to the heart of how Judaism views Yom Kippur. You see, our tradition not only calls this day a holiday, but it actually goes so far as to say that there is no happier day in the whole year than the day of Yom Kippur. What? Yom Kippur, the happiest day of the year? Now why would that be? The answer, I believe, comes down to the essential, most important concept surrounding this day. The idea of saying sorry and granting forgiveness. This day is all about our capacity to look at those people we have hurt in the past and say sorry. In turn, when others approach us, we have the chance to grant forgiveness. Now just imagine what life looks like without forgiveness. You're going about your daily life. You're working, you're juggling the kids' timetables, you do some community volunteer work, you try to socialize a little, and throughout each interaction, buried away at the back of your mind is an argument you've had in the past with someone you cared about. Are you able to fully enjoy each moment life has to offer? Are you able to live a carefree existence where the sheer enthusiasm of the moment is something you can connect with? Or, instead, are you finding that each moment where you should be happy is somewhat tinged by the relationships that still need mending? Yom Kippur and its challenge of forgiveness allow us to live a richer and more fuller life. Do you want to touch on the exuberance that a full life has to offer? We all do. And that's why I say, welcome to the holidays.